Okay everybody, this is going to be part 5 of the bid video. Um, I've got about in between 2 to 3 inches of wire here. Um, I recommend cutting no more than 3 inches off um, unless you just got enough wire that it doesn't matter. So if you want to make it really easy on yourself, go ahead and cut out uh, 5 inches. But I like making it hard on myself. Plus, I don't have a lot of wire right now. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to get these kinks out of here the best I can, which is hard to do while I'm uh, trying to keep in the camera's view. Uh, let me go ahead and shut down my air conditioner and probably turn down this cartoon. My daughter's watching Ringo. And, uh,. Without Ringo, I wouldn't be able to make this video, so hopefully it doesn't bother anybody. Alright, really trying to get this a little straighter, but... Alright, so anyway, here, here it goes. I'm going to take this, and the wick hole is over here, so I'm going to stick this through this side, just in between the two posts. Now, I'm not going to wrap it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it through, let it overhang about a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to hold it kind of bend it over so it's in there tight then I'm just going to snug this screw down it's really easy to do like I said I don't wrap it around the screw it doesn't have to be wrapped around the screw okay the reason that I wrap it closer to the positive post because that's how we do Genesis atomizers. We wrap everything as close to things as we can. Okay, so it's not going around just straight through in between the two so that the overlap on the screw head is holding it down. Okay, no big deal. And I leave my overhang so that if I need to adjust later on, I can do so. Okay, just a little bit extra on either end, basically, in the, in the end. So here we go. Um, done with this part. I'm just going to leave that there for now. And I'm going to take this rolling paper, and I'm going to put it on the, what's going to be the top of the wick. And just wrap it around. Now, I, I cut my rolling paper a little long because I wanted to actually isolate the point where the wick or excuse me the mesh is going to be touching the upper cap on the, the did tank. The reason that I do that is just to isolate a possible short. A lot of times when you're doing this that's not going to be an issue however it's something that I thought was kind of important just to go ahead and uh, take out of the equation altogether. And I'm going to show you something here in a second. As soon as I get this stabbed in there, okay, I have, as you, obviously you can see, I've got quite a bit of rolling paper on there. I'm just going to try my hardest not to let this stuff bunch up. It looks pretty good. Just rolling it the same direction so it doesn't come unrolled. I'm going to push this in the tank until it. I feel it hit the bottom. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift up just enough to make this even with the uh, the top nut. Okay. All right. So there we go. It's not touching the bottom. Now I'm going to wrap my wire counterclockwise. Okay. And I'm going to wrap my wire tight for two reasons. I'm going to wrap my wire tight because when it heats up, it's going to give me a little slack and then whenever I burn the paper off, it's also going to give me a little bit of slack. So you don't want too much slack, so I just go ahead and wrap it tight. This way, yeah, I don't have end up with too much slack whenever everything's said and done. Okay, Everything's a little slick right now because I've got some juice on it top of this atomizer. Sorry about that. I'm trying to be as quick and thorough as I can. 
didn't really work out so far. Just keep trying. Keep going. I've got to get this done. Okay, so what I got here is I got a 3-4 uh, wrap. And I'm going to wrap this around the top post counterclockwise. Right there. Just going to be a small little jot over for the positive wire. Then I'm going to tighten down the top nut just so it'll hold that wire in place. Okay. There we go. It's holding the wire in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some separation between the top nuts and the mesh. Okay. And that's the reason why I say don't tighten this down tight. Okay. So now I'm pulling the mesh over and making sure that I have that separation there. And I do have that separation. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and crank it down tighter and I I can see that I've got plenty of wire wrapped around there okay this is actually what I found to be the best way to do this don't have any shorts at the top if you do have a short at the top which is most common go down below okay I mentioned this in the uh, forum that if you have a, a short in your coil it's generally going to be in the top or the bottom and just picture the electricity going through the coil like a water hose okay so wherever it stops glowing really brightly go down past that there's where your kinks at bump the wire just a little bit so that you will get that flow of electricity even the best that you can okay so now I've got quite a bit of wire hanging off there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that until I burn this paper off, okay? You know, let's burn the paper off. And we're going to burn this at 3.9 volts. I never have problems with uh, shorts or, uh, you know, breaking the wire you know just burning the coil out I don't I don't have that issue just blow on it every now and again make sure that the uh, paper will get out of there because eventually it'll turn to ash and you can blow it off see it's turned white Okay, I'm going to stop this video now and I'll come back. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and leave about um, a quarter to an eighth of an inch. Actually, I'm leaving an eighth of an inch on each of these. And um, that's going to pretty much be it. I mean, not much else that there is to it. So, um, thanks for watching.